Thank you all so much for 15,000 subscribers. And to celebrate, it's Monstro time. Check this out. Welcome, what's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. Today I'm going to be bringing you part one of a two-part series that was filmed over the course of a day spent out on the water fishing on my bass boat, Beetlejuice. It was one of the best days of fishing, if not the best day of fishing that I've had in a long time, probably since I caught my PB, and I'm really looking forward to sharing this footage with you guys. Now I'm bringing this video to you in two parts because when I finished editing the bulk of the footage, it was over 40 minutes long, and although I know some of you guys really enjoy the longer content, I decided to break this down into two 20 plus minute parts and throw it up as a two part mini series. And for those of you who do enjoy the longer content and like to sit down and watch a longer form video, I will probably upload the full version eventually so that those of you who do enjoy the longer videos can enjoy that as well. But for today, we're gonna be checking out part one here. And in this video, we're gonna hook into a monstro. In addition to a bunch of other fish, I caught one of the best fish that I've caught in a while and I can't wait to show it to you guys. I was super stoked. You're gonna see my reaction, see me hook into the fish get to see what I caught her on. And I'll even tell you guys what I caught the fish on here in just a second, but really quick, if this is your first time watching, please consider subscribing to the channel. Help me color in the bar. I would love to have you guys riding along with what we got going on over here. We're on a mission, trying to get that YouTube silver play button. I can't do it without you. So sub to the channel and turn those notification bells on so you'll catch all my future content. Thank you to everybody who has been subscribing lately. We recently surpassed 15,000 subscribers, and this is video one of the two part 15,000 subscriber celebration series. And we're gonna catch a monstro, guys. Not only are we going to catch one monstro, but we're going to catch two. That's right. You're going to see me catch a big fish in this video. And then in tomorrow's video, you're going to see me catch another even bigger fish. So stick around, stay tuned, sub to the channel, and check out both parts of this mini series. Now let's talk a little bit about the bait that I'm going to be fishing out there on the water. This is a bait that I've thrown a lot here on the channel, but it's a bait that you guys and probably most of you watching haven't seen me throw, at least not for a long, long time. The whopper plopper. That's right, guys. We're going to go out plipping and plopping 110 millimeter whopper plopper throwing it on the Shimano Corrado K 50 pound braid straight to the lure on a Lux series seven foot five inch heavy fast rod and we're gonna light them up man they are eating up top early fall transition is cracking off here in Texas and the fishing has been really good I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this video in fact I know you are I had a lot of fun out there catching these fish and like I said man monstro it's monstro time that's right guys we're gonna hook into a straight dragon and then in tomorrow's video, we're gonna hook into another dragon. So without further ado, man, let's get off into it. Let's rip off onto the water, start catching some fish. This is gonna be part one today. I'll let you check out the first half of the day fishing, and then I'll catch up with you guys back in here in the garage afterwards. Let's go. All right. There's one right there, man. That was quick. Top water hitter. Didn't take long. He's threat. Oh, he came off. Dang. I mean, dang. That seemed like a decent fish. That didn't take long for them to hit the plopper. That's tough, man. Hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. That's tough right there, dude. Had one come up and smoke it. And he came off. Dang. Throwing the plopper on the Corrado K this morning. Smooth, non-DC reel. I mean, dang. Bunch of tunes out today, man. Toontown out here. They can take the red car for a nickel. I love me some Corrado K, dudes. Such a smooth, far casting, durable, and nice feeling reel, man. If you're in that $200 range and you don't care anything about the DC technology hype, and you just want a really nice, solid reel for bass fishing that can do it all, Check out the Corrado K, 200K. This is a 7.4 to one gear ratio. Dude, perfect all around bass fishing reel. Love throwing the Corrado K, man. I don't miss the DC Tech at all when I'm on this thing. Boom. Drag's working, come on. He smoked it. Looks like a guad maybe. 
it's a glide but he's coming to the boat boys we got that skunk out of here we got us a fish nice chunky little glide to start the day officially fishing the boat on the plopper that's a mean looking dude man check him out camoed out freaking war bird right there man all right better dude let's keep going yeah i'm fishing just parallel to the bluff wall it's a pretty much straight drop off with little rocky little points and cover for them to sit on right here along this wall so i'm just working super parallel winds blowing right into this so it should be in theory chasing bait up against here if they're here and that one hit it right up against the bank i love fishing parallel to the shoreline with the plopper seems to do really well for me so that's what i'm doing hugging the banks trying to get bit raise the roof let's go here goes another tune tune town scotch on the rocks and i mean ice There we go, another one. It's a large mouth. Come on, stay on there. Oh yeah, take that dip. Get in the boat. Oh, stay in the boat. All right. He took one last hard yeet down towards the bottom before he came up, but he is stuck like Chuck. Naga, naga not gonna get away from me that one yeah he's straight pinned there we go I was about to say i might need a tool for this one but it's all good boom nice looking fish right there boys all right plopper hit us out here on the top of the water raising the roof two fish in the boat out here in toontown making it happen let's go that was two fairly quick right in a row right there got that guad and then that largey let's keep it rolling there's another guad boom Fish number three in the boat. He smoked it pretty much back to back. Let's keep it rolling. Getting into another little squad of them. Let's go. It goes another tune, man. It is straight up tune town out here in this piece today. There we go. Is it a guad or is it a large one? Another guad. Guad piece McNuggets out here, man. Boom, guads. Stacking guads. Tell your fat friends. Coming for them. Where's your fat friends? That's a nice fish. He smoked it. Come on up here, buddy. Yeah, that's a chunk. Look at that, boys. Look at that, boys. Come on up here, please. Get up here in the boat. Drag's working. Drag's working. Come up here to me. That's a chunk, boys. Stay on, girl. Stay on. Come on, stay on, girl. That's a big fish right there, boys. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're out here for. That's what I'm talking about. That's a dang donkey right there. Woo! That's five plus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. That's a five plus. Yeah, buddy. That's what we come out here for. She's stuck. She wasn't coming off. Straight smoked the plopper right over here close to the boat. That was freaking awesome, dude. That was awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking. This is a big fish, man. She's going to go five if not more she got a big mouth she's just not quite full she's skinny from the summer if this fish was full shoot this would be 
super nice but this is super nice for this lake right here man yeah that's a donkey oh man that's what i come out here for that's what we're after boys Whew, dang let's get the scales that fish man that's a monstro that's an official monstro yes sir yes sir dude let's get the scale zeroed out zero locked in five pounds one ounce five pound one ounce bass guys i don't know if you can see the weight on this camera but locked in five one yes sir yeah that's how you know she's big she barely even fit in the live well oh 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 man and that right there that's what we come out here for old son top water hit a that was a heck of a fight too yeah can't let that stop us though the bigs are eating we might get the six we might keep going and get us a six let's keep riding let's keep riding are you riding or are you hiding dude she hit it right over here by the dock cable out in kind of out in open water just straight smoked it so cool dude boom yeah as soon as i saw her jump i was like uh oh we got us a fish on our hands boys we got us a fish five one that's big for this lake dudes that's big for this lake feels really good man feels really good check the wells really quick make sure everything looks good she barely fits dude i'm not gonna leave her in there for long that's a chunk boys that's a chunk certified monstro chunk i'm gonna fish to this point see if i can get another one in the boat then i'm gonna let them go but they are hitting consistently chasing the dragons guys that's the thing about fishing just because you get one dragon that doesn't mean the game is over every time you get one in the boat the game starts over and you just get back to chasing that dragon Chasing dragons. All right, let's let this one go. Let her do. go ahead and let this fish go now it's one more look at her five pounds one ounce monstro stoked on that one man yes all right you ready girl It's the wonder of nature, baby. That was awesome. Stoked on that catch right there. Made my day. Everything else is just a bonus. Let's keep fishing. Chasing the dragons. Just cause you get one doesn't mean the day is done. There goes another tune. Straight tune town, dude. There's another one large mouth in the mouth oh better buddy that's all right he thrashed himself up no one makes me bleed my own blood super shallow he was up there in inches there goes another tune tune town straight loony tunes out here man the wind has died off that is not in my favor i'd rather it be windy it's getting pretty calm out here if that water goes slick the fish get a little bit more lethargic and not as inclined to hit it up top oh my gosh right as i say that was that a freaking bass or a carp Let's go back and check the footage on that one
and something just came up right here and ate him a mouthful. Whatever that was, it wasn't worried about the wind. Another nice little guad. They're mean looking today, man. Beautiful fish. Later, dude. Smack the plopper. Made a little run over here to this point. Really similar to the areas that I have been fishing. They were not up into any of the shallow coves, sandy banks, slight inclines. No, it's all been steep drop-offs like this. A bluff wall type stuff with a little bit of cover right on the edge. That's where I'm getting all my bites today. So I'm just gonna repeat this pattern, not waste my time fishing shallow stuff. They're hooked up against these drop-offs with access to deeper water. So that's what I'm gonna keep fishing. Keep repeating this pattern. See if we can get a few more in the boat. Getting closer to lunchtime now. I still got a lot of cloud cover out here. Seems like the wind is a little bit better over here on this part of the lake. So I'm not done yet. I've been out here fishing in the wind all day with the Corrado K. Not one backlash, not one hiccup out of this reel. I'm loving the Corrados, dude. The regular Corrados, non-DC. Probably end up getting me a couple more of these bad boys. All right. Let's run to a different spot. He's got followers. Oh, I had two on. He's got followers with him. I think I had two fish on there for a second. Maybe felt heavy and then all of a sudden it just got light and then I saw another fish with him. Maybe he just had a follower, but there's another one on the plopper. Made another run, found me another spot similar to what I have been fishing. The wind changed directions on me a little bit, so I got back over here in the wind and there's another fish later dude i'm gonna keep rolling man see if i can get me another one that fish had followers here's a little little wolf pack man there were multiples down there with that one i tried to leave it down there see if another one would bite see if we get two at a time but got us another one in the boat man turned out to be a pretty good actually it's a really awesome day we got a 5-1 in the boat a bunch of other fish as well so I'm stoked on today. I'll tell you what, man. I'll take a squad of tunes over all these ski boats any day, man. Wreck boater traffic is starting to show up, but the clouds and the wind are still here. So I'm gonna stay out here. Try to brave the storm, if you will. See if I can get me a few more in the boat. That boat stinks. It smells like mildew. That's what happens when you let it rain in your boat. Leave the cover off of it. Start smelling like mildew. I've been in some mildewy boats before, man. It's not fun. It stinks. It stinks. It's unpleasant. Oh, there we go. Hit it twice, or maybe two different fish hit it, but he flew out of the water that first time and he came off. Dang. Spit it from over there all the way to right here. I mean, dang. That was a nice fish too, dude couple pounds at least right there off the point they were darting at it flying out of the water big willy style dang there's oh my gosh they're still over here dudes they're still over here hammering there was another one came up and just blasted it twice in a row come on i'm burning it sometimes in the waves and the chop and the wind it can be a little bit difficult for the fish to track the bait especially when it's such a natural color I think that uh, has something to do with a lot of time while they jump up behind it or miss it when they try to eat it. They want it or they want it to quit making noise. One or the other, 
just getting them fired up and angry. He was chasing it, just pop. There he is again. It's guads. I saw that one. That was a guad. He came out from the rocks, darted at it, and then went right back down. That was cool. Yeah, I got good eyes on him. Just a little guad. But that last one I had on was a chunky largey. Large Marge. Let's keep rolling. He went right back down into those rocks right there. So they're just sitting up, hiding in the rocks, coming out and smashing it. Be a nice fish. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Yes, sir, son. Stuck, wasn't going anywhere. Straight smoked it. That was awesome. another chunk right there boys maybe a couple pounds pound and a half at least let's get a weight just for fun nothing major but we'll see we'll see where she goes two pounds ten ounces 210 not a bad fish definitely adds to our daily total yes Ready? Let's keep on rocking, man. They're still smashing the plopper. This is so much fun. There's one right there out of the rocks. I just pitched out right in front of the boat and he came up and smashed it. That's a guad. Heck yeah, dude. Sweet. I done lost count today, boys. They're eating. They are eating. Heck yeah. Yee yee. I mean, I just threw it right in front of the boat and just kind of little made a pit. There's another fish right there. Just made a piddly little cast thinking, there wouldn't be anything there and boom smashed it he smashed it oh ride the wave those are some rollers right there old son i don't know where they came from came out of nowhere and there that was guys five pounds one ounce straight tank man that's a big fish from my lake and it's not often that i catch five pounders out there so super stoked to get that fish but i'm even more stoked to tell you that in tomorrow's video we're gonna catch one even bigger that's right dudes in tomorrow's video an even bigger tank of a dragon coming at you live and direct and full effect over here on this channel so make sure you subscribe help us continue to color in this bar maybe we'll fill it in all the way one day all the way to the top that would be great i would love to have you guys on board with what we got going on over here i hope you enjoyed watching me catch those fish I had a lot of fun out there flipping and plopping, throwing the whopper plopper around. Like I said, Shimano Corrado K. You heard me talk a little bit about this reel in this video. Really loving the Corrado 200. Lux Series Rod from Six Sense Fishing. River to Sea whopper plopper. Straight top water annihilation, man. They were unleashing the fury. And in tomorrow's video, they're going to continue to do so. We're even gonna get rained on and do a little fishing out there in the rain and they just continue to crack off on it. So don't sleep, stay tuned, stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. I appreciate you all for riding with me. As always, Shout out to Much Love to Six Sense Fishing and Waterland. Waterlandco.com, SixSenseFishing.com. JR10 for the win. Use my code JR10 at checkout to save bread with both companies. Most importantly, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Help us grow this beast and stay tuned for all my future fishing content. I appreciate each and every one of you for taking time out of your busy day to watch my video. But that's about all I got for you today, man. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll see you in the next one.